You might have heard rumblings that sunscreen is toxic. So should you stop the slather and risk getting a terrible sunburn instead? Dr. Batra, I'm guessing we don't stop slathering though. So what's, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, so as a dermatologist, you know the first thing I'm going to say is please don't stop slathering. Skin cancer is the number one cancer of any type in the United States. And we know that appropriate sunscreen use can help prevent the burns that lead to cancer. But the, right, the reason for this more recent concern is due to chemical ingredients in sunscreen. And specifically, there was a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association that was actually conducted by the FDA itself on four chemical block ingredients in sunscreen. And they were avabenzone, oxybenzone, octocrylene, and a capsule. And they had 24 test subjects who were applying two sprays, a lotion, a cream, and they were using it under something called maximal use, which is not practical. It's not how you or I ever use sunscreen. They had people applying it to 75% of their body surface area four times a day. So wow. you would go through one bottle of sunscreen in two days. The average person goes through a bottle of sunscreen in a year. But what they did was they then tested blood levels of these chemicals and they found that they actually were being absorbed into the bloodstream in ways that they had never predicted when these ingredients were first introduced. So as a dermatologist, all of a sudden in my office, I'm getting besieged by people saying, is my sunscreen toxic? Do I have to stop? And the answer is no, because for the most part, these chemicals have all been around for decades. We do think that this study really raises excellent questions that the FDA and, and many of these manufacturers need to look at these ingredients, see if they play a role in endocrine disruption and in cancer, which are always the two big concerns about that list of four chemicals that I mentioned. But they've been out a long time, time, you're saying. But they've been out for a but, long but, time. But if you were worried about it, there are alternative sunscreens, right? They are, and so anybody who's heard me go on my soapbox on this show knows for a long time, I and many dermatologists have advocated the use of mineral block sunscreens. And what those are, are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which are micronized particles that sit on top of your skin and they deflect ultraviolet rather than absorbing it and converting it to heat, which is what the chemical blocks do. And so if you have any concern about this, just become an astute consumer, turn that bottle around. Every sunscreen bottle has active ingredients listed on the back. Just make sure it doesn't have anything other than zinc or titanium and you're good to go and you're much less likely to run into this concern anyway. And no, placebo sunscreen does not oh, work. Exactly. And Getting back to symptoms, yeah. yeah. Sun, on, on sunburn, that note, there is that's a no, sign that you yeah, spent too so much time in the sun. Placebo doesn't Baby work. Baby oil is not a, not a placebo. <laughs> well, so the scary thing, just on a very brief tangent, is that the corollary to all these people being concerned about chemical sunscreens is now you have this whole sub-industry of DIY natural sunscreens where people are going in their kitchen and they're cooking oh, up bet. things. And they're saying, this is your sunscreen. And I just want to emphasize to anyone watching this, there is no safety or efficacy information or data on any of these DIY recipes. To be fair, you're actually better off not using it than putting on some random oil on your skin and going out and assuming it's going to afford you some benefit. So please, please do not DIY. It can be very dangerous. It can absolutely worsen the burns that we know lead to skin cancer. And when in doubt, if you are at all concerned about these findings, which to be fair, we don't even know yet what they mean in the long term, stick with a mineral block. What I love, and I stand by it, I am all about UV protective clothing now. Yeah. Whenever I'm at the beach or near a lake or near a pool, I have pictures to prove it. I have these hoodies, long sleeve, and if I'm, I, I, if I'm out there for a long period of time, I throw that on because I do not slather it back on over and over. I'm not good at it, so I throw that baby on. I'm always protected, yeah. and there, there are so many more options now with the UV protective clothing. So. Whatever you do, protect yourself from the sun. Dr. Bot. She knows yeah. what she's oh, talking my. about. Yes, she does.